Okay, now we're ready for, for part three of fingerboard geometry. Now this um, combines the first two intervals that we've learned, the fifth and the octave, and puts them together. Now if you look at about 80% of chords that you'll see, they have a, an octave and a perfect fifth. That means an unaltered fifth, meaning not sharp or not flat. So the majority of chords have a perfect fifth, and they all, of course, have to have a root or an octave. So let's look at how we can combine them together to create um, little two-note arpeggios. These will help you understand where the roots and fifths are in your chord shapes, in your arpeggio shapes, and in your scale shapes. These will be universal to all three of those things. So um, I'm going to take the root A, and I'm going to play from each A on the board in both directions, roots and fifths. So um, this will be diagram for you. You can download the diagram at starlinermusic.net. Um, you have root A here. First, I'm going to play an octave, a fifth, and then an octave from this A. So here's root, fifth, octave. Okay. Now I'm going to go the other way from this A. So root, fifth, octave. Okay. Now the next A on the board after this A would be this A. So we're going to go both ways from this A. So I'm going to go first toward the net, root, fifth, octave, and then the other way, root, fifth, octave. Okay, the next A on the board um, would be this one. However, we're kind of running out of strings there, so we're going to go over to this A at the 12th fret. So an octave from the A toward the note would be here, or here's sorry the fifth, and then the octave. So here we go one more time. Root fifth octave. All right. Now now we're going to go the other direction from that same A. Root fifth octave. Okay. Now the last A would be here. Um, toward the nut, we can only get a fifth. Like this. But toward uh, the bridge, we can get a fifth. There's this expanded. And the octave expanded. Okay, so now why is this important? When we get ready to go on to, say, scales or chords or, tr or triad arpeggios, all you have to do now is add a third. Um, for instance, and make uh, this either a major or minor arpeggio. So maybe going back to uh, down here, we have root, fifth, octave. If I add a third, a major third, there's a major triad. If I change the third to minor, there's a minor triad. So you can see how just getting um, the roots and the fifths down will make learning all your other arpeggios or scales or um, chord shapes a lot easier. This concludes part three of fingerboard geometry, the fifth and the root.